Hi, welcome to the Science Channel. From an evolutionary perspective, woke people are the strongest, most capable form of hominoids history has ever seen. They're superior human beings. I'll explain what makes the woke apex predators on top of nature's food chain, but first, you have to understand, woke people didn't just appear overnight. In simple terms, evolution is what we do at a genetic level to win the competition of survival against other forms of life in nature. Now evolution takes time, so to take a look at the woke's earliest human ancestors, we need to rewind the clock back about 10 years to the pre-Paleo-Wokalithic era. Back then, you had a primitive people known as Homo sapiens. These were a type of hominises who survived using primitive skills such as strength, bravery, intelligence, and productivity. And interestingly, their species only had two genders. Then midway through this era, just after the world ended because of climate change according to Al Gore, the Homo sapien developed into Homo sapien justicus, or commonly referred to as social justice warriors. They were the first pre-woke ancestors who originated online hatred. It's believed they understood fire, and they also learned how to make weapons out of keyboards, and they begin mating primarily with their own hands while staring at computer screens. That led us to the current paleo era that created the conditions for the homo sapien non-binary woketicus to develop and thrive, or commonly referred to as the woke. They're a very advanced phylum of people who have evolved to shed what are now unnecessary prehistoric qualities like gills, large canines, and self-responsibility. And along with developing the ability to have an inability to tolerate even the slightest bit of discomfort, they've also evolved to develop 72 genders. Now, when we've studied the fossilized evidence of primitive people, we've discovered strong evidence that suggests they did all their thinking in their brains. Whereas the woke carry around additional brains in the form of devices like phones, tablets, and TVs, which is where all their thinking comes from. Now let's not forget how the woke became the apex predators at the top of the food chain in the first place. Was it by outwitting, outsmarting, or being stronger than their competition? No, it's because they canceled all the predators that used to be above them. It's an advanced capability that no other species in nature has ever achieved. The former predators at the top of the food chain, like orca whales, lions, and gorillas, made the mistake of competing against other species by being better than them. Unlike the woke, their lack of adaptivity to become degenerates clearly led to their downfall from the top step of nature's podium. The woke have gotten to where they are not by judging people based on the content on their character, but by judging them based on their skin color and pronouns, they've evolved to have no character, so it simply doesn't matter to them. Darwin's theory of evolution is survival of the fittest. Yet to better understand the genetic development of the woke, our scientific analysis of stool droppings from Hollywood celebrities, along with carbon dating Molotov cocktail shrapnel from downtown Portland, has proven that what's more true than survival of the fittest is survival of the outraged, whereas those who archaically lived peacefully, productively, and lovingly have simply died off because they weren't fit to survive. Now the woke have a high degree of intellectual capacity for outrage, which makes them capable of even being offended by their own God-given genders. And where baboons speak a language of throwing feces at each other, the woke speak a language of virtue signaling at each other and they thrive eating a diet primarily based in propaganda. When learning about the woke, it's best to think of evolution as a spectrum. Intelligence evolved into outrage, freedom evolved into obedience, love evolved into hate, and self-responsibility evolved into socialism. Studying ancient iterations of people reveals interesting hieroglyphic evidence that they worshipped a rather primitive interpretation of a non-human god. One that was all loving in them and around them at all times and to be trusted as the most important source of life guidance, whereas the woke have several gods in human form that they're very obedient to. The woke have advanced their genetic IQs to the point that they no longer base facts on truth. Now this is an exciting intellectual advancement that previous hominis eras only could have imagined. And the advanced lack of activity in the cerebral cortex of the woke has allowed them to develop the ability to shapeshift objective reality, primarily by changing the definitions of words.
accordingly. Staying locked in one's home for months at a time out of fear is an act of courage for the woke that would make the most courageous lion in the jungle look like a coward. We've found the now extinct primitive people had what's called a backbone, which is in part what led to their demise. But through genetic adaptation, the woke have replaced the backbone with conformity. The woke have an impressive ability to blame other people for virtually any problem they encounter, which allows them to quickly and easily overcome any obstacle. Their blame, along with their strong ability to victimize themselves over anything, are chief reasons why we think they've been able to evolve to be so advanced in such a short period of time. This has been just a brief glimpse into the fascinating evolutionary biology of the woke. Stay tuned for more scientific discoveries. We'll keep studying the woke until they make our planet uninhabitable.